Hello guys, this is continuations of time complexity analysis and uh, today I will talk about some of the logarithmic uh, formula which you need to know when you are trying to find the time complexity of a given algorithm which uses logarithmic function, right? So what you need to do that is you need to remember uh, this formula. If you remember this formula, you can easily use the logarithmic functions. So these are the logarithmic functions where you have the first one. If you look at when you have log uh, uh, x to the power y, you can write this as y log x, right? The first one. So when you have something called log x to the power y, you can write y log x. Then the second one, when you have log n, you can write log 10 base n, both are equal. So log n, you can write log 10 base n. Now this base 10 depends on you, how you are trying to solve your uh, for, uh, algorithm, right? Then you have log x y, so you can write log x plus log y. So when, when you have log x y, you can write log x plus log y. Then you have a log b base x a log b base x you can write the same formula you can write x log and a will come in place of x and b will be as it is so you can write x log b base a right the same thing will work out then you have log n base k you can write log n to the power k right so log n base k you can write log n to the power k and the sixth one when you have log x by y you can write log x minus log y right when you have log x minus uh, log x by y you can write log x minus log y and when you have log b base x you can write log a to the power x by log a to the power b so actually you are taking a common base so when you are taking a common base yes you can write log a to the power x by log a to the power b right i'll repeat once again when you have log base x y you can write y log x when you have log n you can write log 10 base n when you have log x y you can write log x plus log y when you have a log b base x you can write uh, x log b base a when you have log n base k you can write log n to the power k when you have log x by y you can write log x minus log y when you have log b base uh, log uh, b base x or you can uh, you can say that yeah b base x you can write log a to the power x by log a to the power b so these are the logarithmic uh, formula you need to remember so if you are good with that you will not find any difficulty when you are finding the time complexity which involves logarithmic functions uh, with this i'll close the video and in next video i will talk about how to find the time complexity of a given program thank you guys thank you for watching